Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson, and here's the latest from the KMA Newsroom on a busy Tuesday afternoon. Montgomery County officials are enlisting outside legal assistance in dealing with carbon pipeline-related legal matters. By unanimous vote Tuesday morning, the county's Board of Supervisors approved a resolution to enlist the Ehlers & Cooney law firm to guide the county through the Summit Carbon Pipeline journey. Montgomery County is one of several in western Iowa, as you'll recall, included in the path of Summit's proposed Midwest Express CO2 pipeline. It was show and tell time for Shenandoah at a noontime gathering of Rotarians today. Rotary International members from districts in two states joined Shenandoah's organization in hearing an update on the community's economic development efforts. It was all part of an imagined Rotary tour visiting five communities in Iowa and Nebraska. Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg made a sweep through KMA land yesterday afternoon. As part of his and Governor Kim Reynolds' annual 99-county tour, Gregg paid a visit to the Manildra Milling Corporation in Hamburg before sending off a group of veterans on an honor flight in Council Bluffs. KMA, on track weather, 30% chance of showers tonight. Otherwise, mostly cloudy with a low in the mid-50s. South winds at around 5, becoming calm in the evening. Tomorrow, sunny with highs in the mid-70s. Light west and northwest winds becoming northwest at 5 to 10, gusts up to 15. Tomorrow night, mostly clear with lows in the lower 50s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. I'm Mike Peterson.